Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And in this little tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create the data files. In other words, the files that are going to go inside our projects directory. Now, for each website you crawl, you actually only have two files, and that is the queue and the crawled files. And inside these files, there's just a list of links, so it's actually really easy to understand. So basically, whenever our fighter, they say fighter, our spider first starts out what it's going to do is it already has the home page this is the only link that we ever give it because of course it needs a starting point so from here what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and start gathering all of these urls beauty business.html computer science.html again i know that's not the actual url but this is just an example so it's going to go start on this page and each link it finds this one this one this one this watch now on this visit android forum one is going to add all of those urls to a waiting list now whenever it's done crawling this page and gathering up all the links it's going to go ahead and take this url and add it to the crawled file why do we do that well because then when we're on another page and we find this link right here which links back to the home page we don't want to go ahead and crawl that again we already crawled it so we need to keep track of what pages we already crawled and what links we found that are on the waiting list that we didn't crawl yet. So the queue or the waiting list and the crawled files, that's all we need. So go ahead and do this and all right. And by the way, another cool thing I want to point out, you see how just one thread is all you need to crawl this homepage. You just need one little bot to do it. Whenever we have a bunch of links, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say that we have ten links in the waiting list. Well, it'll take. Let's say that it takes one second to crawl a page. That means that it would take ten seconds to crawl all of these pages. Who has time for that? I'm actually going to set up this program and make it multi-threaded, which means we're going to make a program that can crawl all of these pages simultaneously. So we're going to be able to crawl like eight or 16 pages at once. So it's going to speed it up a bit. But again, I'm getting kind of ahead of myself. That's essentially what we're doing. So for now, I'll just say create queue and crawled files. Now again, just like the last time, you don't want to create these files if they already exist, because if they already exist, that means that your bot has already been running and you know, you gather like, I don't know, like 20% of the website already. So you don't want to repeat yourself. You need to keep this efficient. So we'll just say, uh, def create, uh, data files. All right. Now, again, there are two pieces of information we need the project name and the project name is usually just going to be it can be whatever the user types in but 99 percent of the time it's just going to be the domain name without the top level domain so that the dot com or dot edu or anything so in this example i'll just keep the uh project name the new boston and this is going to be the home page url so again the project and directory name are the same thing so i just say project name that's the first thing we need and the second one is the base url and we need that because we need to give it a starting point so the queue i'll just say project name plus q.txt all right so i just want to go ahead and make a variable for the file path just so i don't have to type this every time so basically in this project right here we're going to have a file called q.txt and all this file is going to be is a list of links on the waiting list waiting to be crawled so same thing with crawled do i want to i don't need to copy that so crawled is just going to be project name plus crawled.txt so there you go now Again, we need to check if these files exist before we actually go ahead and create them in case you're like uh, running this for a second time. So if not OS dot path dot is file and I'll just write Q. So we're basically saying, does this file exist already? If not, 
then we can just go ahead and create it. Now I'm gonna make a quick little function in like just a second, and this is just gonna take like two minutes to write. All it does is it writes a new, or creates a new text file. So I'll say write file, and whenever you write a file, what you need is essentially the file path, which is the new Boston Q.txt. So that's the path or the file name. And the second thing is what data is going to go in the file. So you can say like, hey, now my name is Bucky, but that would be pointless for this tutorial. So again, whenever you create your queue or waiting list, for the very first time, you don't want to empty because then whenever your program actually starts, it's going to look, all right, what files do I need to crawl? None. I'm done. And it will be the shortest web crawler ever. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to pass it this in. So when your program first boots up, it has one um, URL in the waiting list and that's your homepage. So then it says, okay, let me go ahead and grab that and start crawling from there. So pretty cool. And we're going to do the same thing with crawled. So if not OS path is file. All right. Now, if you don't have that one created, then just go ahead and write this file. Crawled. Now, again, whenever we make this crawled file, we want to make it is an empty file, nothing inside it. And that's because if we just go ahead and make it and throw a URL in there, then our program is going to think that we crawled this already. But we just created the file, so we obviously didn't crawl this page yet. And again, later what's going to happen is we're going to go ahead and look at the waiting list, crawl the home page, and after we're done crawling this, then we move it to crawled. So not now. And uh, yeah, there you go. So that's how that works. And now let me just go ahead and create this right file. Again, nothing new here. I'll say, uh, create a new file. Give myself some room here. Uh, def write file. And again, we'll just say path or the file name and the actual data you want to write to it. And in order to create a new file, I'm just write uh, f equals open. And you give the path and w stands for write. So whenever you do this, uh, this is the file name and this is in write mode so you can actually write data to it and in order to actually write the data to it you just take that file handle and call write and then you can pass in whatever data you want so we're creating the file writing data to it and it's also good housekeeping to close the file when you're done and all this does is it frees up memory resources and make sure you don't have any slow data leaks or any weird errors or anything like that. So there you go. Looking sweet, looking beautiful.